that there were two major international events during the last week which should have been connected and weren't connected. The first one was a two-day meeting of the United Nations General Assembly exclusively devoted to the coronavirus. A hundred heads of state did pre-recorded videos for the occasion and 41 cabinet ministers did the same. And yet, as I'm sure you may have noticed, <laughs> there was no international coverage of any substance. Well, how could you notice it when it didn't exist? And why didn't it exist? Because in truth, the entire debate was insubstantial. It was an exercise in rhetorical flim-flam. You know the, the words, oh, this is a global pandemic requiring a global solution. Thank you very much. That was the essence of it. Not a single financial commitment, no commitments around the rollout of vaccines, nothing of substance. In fact, when it was over, the president of the General Assembly, who oversaw this travesty, issued what is called a summary document. You couldn't get a more low-level document in the United Nations for any given meeting. And one of the things I can say with confidence, having watched as much of it as I could and read as much about it as there was, not very much, there was no reference to other serious international public health hazards or emergencies, none whatsoever. And that's where the connection should have been made and wasn't made. Because you see, two days before this debate on the coronavirus, there was World AIDS Day. And just in advance of World AIDS Day, UN AIDS put out a report, and it was a stunning document. As a matter of fact, it would have captured headlines around the world were it not for the preoccupation with the coronavirus. Let me give you the simple context. Back in 2016, the UN met and produced a political declaration on AIDS which said, we're going to eliminate AIDS by the year 2030. But in order to get there, we have to have a fast track initiative over the next five years, culminating in 2020, where we set a number of targets. And when we reach those targets, we'll get through to the elimination of AIDS by 2030. And the targets address numbers of infections and deaths and stigma and young women and girls and key populations like men who have sex with men and sex workers and injecting drug users and prison populations and the whole question of sexual violence. It addressed all of those targets and not a single target was reached. Not one. Now there's a new administration in UNAIDS, but they have a significant measure of accountability over what went wrong over the last five years to make sure it never happens again. They are emerging with a strategic plan in the next few months and we'll be watching it carefully. But we are in a really critical situation because what is happening, and this is the ultimate irony, is that we may get to the end of COVID-19 in 2021, 2022, and find that we then face a monumental task to deal with a contagion of other diseases which have been so sorely neglected over the last year and before. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.